As promised, today I'm going to show you how to prepare a very useful oil-based varnish for all kinds of wood and wood byproducts, outdoors and indoors. I used this in my previous video. I'm going to prepare two compounds. The first one, which we'll use as base, will have a thin consistency, whereas the second one, which we'll use as finish, will contain a little carnauba wax, making it thicker. I will use a blend of oils and essences to prepare it. The first ingredient is tongue oil. This oil is obtained from the seeds of the Chinese tree it's named after. When applied on wood, it not only protects the wood, it also hardens when it's absorbed, creating a waterproof layer. These products must be mixed at about 45 degrees Celsius to obtain a homogeneous mixture. Once the temperature has been reached, we pour it into the bottles according to the ratios on the mixture chart. Next up is linseed oil. This oil, obtained from the seeds of the flax plant, protects wood against humidity, insects, fungi and UV light. Our mixture should be made with only pure, natural products, not the chemically processed ones that you will find in drugstores mixed with metals and other substances. I'll post a link on my website of where you can find them online. The resulting mixture of these two oils will be the base of this varnish, making up 50% of the compound. At this point, I will mark the bottles to distinguish them. The next ingredients are orange essence, which makes it easier for the blend to penetrate wood. Camellia oil, known for its magnificent antioxidant and aromatizing properties. And turpentine essence, which will be used as thinner. I'm going to heat up these three components together to 45 degrees Celsius using a water bath, since these substances are quite volatile. We must be careful not to exceed this temperature or the mixture could dry. Once the temperature has been reached, we pour it into the bottles according to the ratios on the mixture chart. We won't fill the bottle with the thick mixture all the way up to leave room for the wax. We shake the liquid mixture vigorously and it's finished, so we can put it aside for now. We'll finish the other compound with carnauba wax. This product, obtained from the leaves of a palm tree that grows in northeastern Brazil, is known for its gloss and wear resistance, much higher than that of beeswax. Its melting point is 78 to 85 degrees Celsius. Using this flame, dissolving the wax takes about 8 minutes. We add it to the compound and shake the mixture vigorously. If lumps appear, we can put the bottles in the microwave for about 5 minutes and shake again. If you are interested, I can show you how to use these mixtures in another video. We hope you liked it and see you next time!